It's nice, don't you think? Yeah, so that it can be nice and strong. Guys, welcome to the middle of nowhere. We're here in the middle of Israel. This is so unique because look where we are staying. Like, this is us. This is cut into the side of the hill here. And we're going to be living here for the next few days. So yeah, part of this project is you're here to help them build more accommodations so they can create a sustainable way of life. And all of this was made by either volunteers or helpers. So the reason we start so early in the morning is because it can get quite hot here in the Israeli desert. So we just come down to like the mixing plant, if you want to call it that. So we're going to start preparing some of the mud bricks here. And I see the sun is just starting to rise. Done. So at the moment we're working on the little kids play area or the workshop if you want to call it. As you can see some of the other volunteers have made this absolutely amazing playground for them. Stairs, it's got a slide as well. Quickly just before I jump into work I have to show you guys around. Also this is an old car or a ute as we call it in Australia and this is a real car just here and they've made it into like a monster or a crocodile which is amazing for the kids as you can see it is still a proper car you can see the the wheel in there as well some of the creativity that everyone has is just mind-blowing so what we're doing is there's a bit of a bench that we need to finish off so that when families do come here they have like a bench to sit down and they can make like little clay figures so we're using the cement mixer just here we put our little mixture in this is more of the completed bench here as you can see we started to lay out the bricks and we're just putting the final touches on there so basically I just wet it like this and then take a bunch of mud stick it here again with water it's very easy to to see mm. to smooth it cooperation use water Getting nice and muddy early in the morning yeah. Jess Really fun. Do you never go? I think this one's probably the best helper. <laughs> there you go, sir. And then you need to put some water on yeah, your hands. Yeah. If you use water, it will be so much easier. Mm. You see, it's really like a plastolina. All right, we've come to the makeup station. We have some leftover clay we've just made up here with uh, bits of the Dead Sea in here. So it's meant to be really good for the skin. Jess is jumping straight in there. Yes. This is really good. Think how much people would pay that, to this get this type of thing. Oh. <laughs> it's nice, don't you think? It is, but it's, it's really like soft. Alrighty, back to work. We're going to be making some bricks. At the moment, we're just sieving through the clay. I love how Jess is doing her work and at the same time getting her facial done. <laughs> Alrighty, we're making up some some bricks just here. We've got our pan and we're just trying to put it in with such a high density that there's not too many holes in here so that it can be nice and strong. Okay, now you take it very gently out and there goes your bricks. <laughs> we'll stay. Alright, we started preparing breakfast for the morning. We've stopped work. Coffee is flowing. Oh yeah, this is the kitchen that we are having breakfast at. We're crazy. We're going for a hike because... It is 6 p.m. It is 6 p.m. <laughs> but we're going for a hike because apparently there's some beautiful views around here. It's actually not too bad right now. You know, I bet you once, seeing as we're in the desert, I bet you once the sun drops, it's going to be way cooler. True. You know, they always say, like, you need to bring like, a jumper and an electric blanket to the desert. We've been getting some hiking tips and apparently the best way to go down the mountain is watch where the water trickles down. We've got a spot. 